Amen. Give the Lord your loudest shout of praise in this place. Uh, is that the best you can do? I said your loudest. I said give the Lord your loudest shout of praise. Your loudest shout of praise. Nobody will charge you for shouting tonight. Give the Lord a shout of praise in the name of Jesus the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. Amen. Lift the hands wherever you begin to speak in the language of the Spirit. Oh, Kalabadu di boza hava. Ah, sure, sure, ancient science king. Kadosh, Kadosh, you are mighty on your throne. Ah, sure, sure, ancient science king. Ha. Kadosh, Kadosh, you are mighty on your throne. Ali Baba Baba, ba. you shine forth, you spirit of the deep. Arise, Kadosh, ha, you are mighty on your throne. Somebody hear me say you right. You ran, you ancient, you ancient Zion. Kadosh, Kadosh, Kadosh. Hey, you are mighty on your throne. You ran, you ran, you ran, you ran, you ran. You ran. Ilalalo, silabato, kalabalabalabal. Kadosh, Kadosh, Kadosh. You are mighty. Hey. Shurain, 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 Kabaruken de la Vosi Cabraha, Kadosh, Kadosh, she was mighty. Hey, ha, ha, and we will rise, ha, in your name, Adonai, Shurain. To rain on high, we will rise, we will rise in your name. I don't know, I don't know. To you rain, you rain, and we will rise, and we will. Yeah. Hey, 
we lift your name again. Higher, 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 Oh, we lift you higher. We lift you higher. We lift you higher. We lift you higher. Hey, we Hey, Lion of Judah, Agune Chemba, Hey, Yeshua, Amashia, Amashia, Lion of Judah, Lion of Judah, Agune Chemba, Ikuni Milivile Masuka La 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 Bota, Ikavule Milie Seita La Makube. Hey, Shira Balo Talekidi. Hey, Kula Lili Hina Manu and Imeiro Balaba. There is none like you, oh God, a pretty video. Lipuriki Vili Bia Chalavete. Come on, Hila na lo supa le gavose, li makum telekedia, yo poli kiva asu anke deve. We worship you tonight, Yeshua. You are the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, the Lion of the Tribe of Judah. Aya lukuni di asai tanamatuwe. Hey. Can you please lift up your right hand towards the heaven? Father, we thank you for your presence and your glory in this place. You've started it well with us the past two days. You have shown your favor, you have shown your grace, and you are taking us deeper. We ask that, O oh God, you carry us to heights we have never seen before. You take us into depths our strengths cannot take us you will take us higher than what we can see and you'll be glorified in this place and you give somebody a testimony in the name of jesus amen please you may resume your seat in heavenly places thank you so much hallelujah I want to bless God for the lives of our father and our mother. Let's put our hands together. Let's appreciate them. Oh, you are not clapping. <laughs> Hallelujah. I thank God for how far he has brought them. It was when I walked in that I saw that daddy just entered his 60th birthday. So I want to say happy birthday. And, and happy shepherd. Hallelujah. Amen. We also want to celebrate the leadership that have been working tirelessly, all the pastors who have been standing together with the first family, the elders, the deacons. Can we appreciate them? Let's appreciate them. Let's appreciate them. Hallelujah. And then you also want to appreciate yourself for making it to this place. Wonderful. Hallelujah. I didn't come alone this evening. I came with some of my sons, can we please see you so we can acknowledge you? God bless you. God bless you. Amen. Tell somebody grace. Oh, tell somebody grace to complete every assignment as you are restored. Say grace to complete every assignment as you are restored. Say you will receive grace to complete whatever assignment the Lord has given to you. Hallelujah. Amen. Turn your Bible with me, if you may, to 1 Corinthians chapter 15. 1 Corinthians chapter 15. And I'm looking at the verses 8 9 and 10. 1 Corinthians 15, the verses 8, 9, 10. Let's appreciate the choir. When we walked in, they were ministering powerfully. Let's appreciate them. 
Put your hands together. Let's appreciate the crowd. Hey, Auntie. <laughs> Sister Florence. Hallelujah. When you see Sister Florence, it means you get fluorescent light. <laughs> Praise the Lord. For I am the least of the apostles. Okay, let's look at verse 8. And last of all, he appeared to me also as to one abnormally born. As to one abnormally born. The Bible is yours. Underline that. If you are using a tablet or a phone or something, just highlight it. And if there is any um, colorful uh, thing you can use to color it, color it. And last of all, he appeared to me. I'm using the NIV. Also, to one abnormally born. One abnormally born. <laughs> one abnormally born. Verse 9. For I am the least of the apostles and do not even deserve to be called an apostle because I persecuted the church. In fact, when you read Colossians chapter 3 from the verse number 1 to 10, Apostle Paul tells us his credentials. He says he was born to a very powerful tribe in Israel. He was circumcised on the eighth day. He was actually somebody who studied at the feet of Gamaliel. And he said concerning the law, he was blameless. And then he said, if you want to measure how much zeal he had, he persecuted the church. Praise the Lord. And so he said he persecuted the church. Verse 10, he said, but by the grace of God. Say by the grace of God. Say by the grace of God. Kade onam nyankupona dum. Or repeat, onam nyankupona dum. Say by the grace of God. I don't know if there is anybody here who has ever tasted or come to terms or encountered or seen the grace of God. Hallelujah. He said, for by the grace of God, I am what I am. And by grace that was given to me, I did not receive this grace without effect. No, I worked harder than all of them, yet not I but the grace of God that was given to me. Hallelujah. Grace is a very, very interesting term. Say, I can't adum, 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 adum. I think there's a very popular song like that. Adum, adum, adum. And there is also a very popular choral song that goes also adum, adum, adum. Hallelujah. There's also a very popular Pentecostal song. Adum, 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 Yam. See it? So, Yakaduma, if you are talking about grace, it's a very interesting term. Hallelujah. Now, a bit of Bible study. When you study the Bible, you will agree with me that God has been dealing with people by dispensations. Say dispensations. When we talk about dispensations, we are talking about the timelines, chronology and times and seasons that God deals with people. Ecclesiastes 3, the verse number 1 says that there is a time for everything and there is a season for every activity or purpose under the sun. Praise the Lord. And he says, you can't dispensation you can't Hallelujah. So when you study the Bible, if you are a good student of the Bible, you will agree with me that there are about seven dispensations right from the time of creation or before creation till the time that Christ will come back. Hallelujah. So the first period or the first dispensation was the dispensation of innocence. Say innocence. That was the time where nobody knew anything. God created Adam. He didn't know sin. The guy knew only the glory of God upon his life. He was walking in Eden, enjoying himself. Until he disobeyed God and he ate from the fruit of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. 
And the Bible said, now his eyes opened. He became enlightened. He got to be able to know good and evil. In fact, the first thing he saw was that he was naked. Hallelujah. When the guy was in the dispensation of innocence, he was covered in glory. Sometimes it is important not to know anything. Because sometimes the things we know create problems for us. If God did not tell you about it, don't worry yourself seeking it. Because if he wants you to know, he will reveal it to you. Deuteronomy 29, 29 says, The secret things belong to God, but those he reveals to us, they are for us, our children, and they are children. When you read 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9, he said the things God prepared for those who love him, no eye has seen, no ear has has heard neither has it been discerned by anybody's heart but he has revealed them to us by his spirit even the spirit who searches the deep things of god revelation has also made it clear when you read luke chapter 12 verse 2 he says there is nothing that has been hidden that will not be revealed i believe god for one thing in the course of this fasting god will reveal some things to some people i said the lord shall reveal some things to some people he's going to show somebody where he's taking you he's going to show somebody his elevation he's going to show somebody a good news he's going to show somebody a breakthrough shout the lord shall show me something you cannot pray and fast and not encounter something new can i preach can i teach you can't pray and fast without encountering something new. When you study the scriptures, when Jesus was teaching the be attitudes, there are attitudes for Christians that we must be. Isubi wahwa nyankupa nipede ye nya. Obrebi wahwa nyankupa nipede ye bo. The be attitudes. Jesus started teaching the B attitudes from Matthew chapter 4. He started teaching the people about the gospel of the kingdom. He didn't teach the people the gospel of salvation or the gospel of prosperity or the gospel that is known as social gospel. He taught them the gospel of the kingdom. The problem the body of Christ is having today is that we have majored on certain aspects of the gospel of the kingdom. So we have Christians who know how to pray in tongues but are very lazy at work. Hallelujah. And when things don't go on as they expect, they blame the devil. It is not everything you blame the devil. Because he says, you know that your father in heaven knows that you have needs of these things. He says that the things that people of the world concern themselves with is what they will eat, what they will drink, and what they will wear. And your father who is in heaven knows you, you have these needs. But don't go after these needs. Seek first the kingdom of God and its way of doing things, the righteousness, and all these things shall be added. People are seeking the kingdom and they have left the righteousness. When you come into the kingdom, there are things you must do. Praise the Lord. Are we together? I'm trusting God that the Holy Spirit will open your eyes. And the eyes of your understanding. In the kingdom, there are things we must do. Praise the Lord. Jesus said, except your righteousness exceeds that of the Pharisee, you are not fit to enter into the kingdom. So the standard is, if you can enter into the kingdom of God, which Jesus came to show us the way into, your righteousness 
must be more than that of the Pharisee. Now, what is the righteousness of the Pharisee? Number one, he fasts twice a week. Every Pharisee fasts twice a week. He prays three hours a day. One hour in the morning, one hour in the afternoon, one hour in the evening. When was the last time you prayed one hour? And it was not prayer and fasting week. The Pharisee pays his tithe every Sabbath. Praise the Lord. Some of us, we chop the tithe. And some of us are even saying that, oh, we are in the new dispensation. Daddy, it's a new generation. Daddy, we are under grace. We don't need tithe. Praise the Lord. The Pharisee pays his tithe. The reason why Jesus spent more time living a prayer and a fasting life is because it's part of the righteousness of the kingdom. You cannot be a true child of God who doesn't know how to fast. Matthew chapter 6, the verse number 3 and 4, it says, when you give, when you give, Verses 6 and 7. When you pray. When you pray. Verses 16 and 17. When you fast. When you fast. God is a three-dimensional God. He gives you your past. He gives you your present. And he shows you your future. The reason why these dimensions are there is so that if you messed up in the past, you have the present to fix it. And if you mess up in the present, you have the future to fix it. So God lives outside of time. He lives in eternity. But he puts you and I into time. So that while we are living in time, when we make a mistake, take he who is outside of time can help you correct it it's a complete restoration by the time this fasting and prayer is over some things that have been lost will be recovered so prayer fasting giving they go together Those that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. When they renew their strength, what do they do? They mount up, they run, and they walk. Say three dimensions. So, when Adam ate in the dispensation of innocence, he dropped and came into the dispensation of conscience. And because he now knew what was evil, God kicked him out. Jacob said, Adam, where are you? Simple question. He couldn't answer. Whenever you want to show that you know, God also shows you that you don't know. When his eyes opened and he could know good from bad, good and evil, one simple question God asked him, he couldn't answer. Adam, where are you? I am here. You know, be so. He said, God, <laughs> I heard your voice. I was afraid. So I hid myself because I was naked. One question, where are you? Look at the answers. Did you know, I know daddy is a professor. You know that sometimes when you are asked a simple question and you don't know the answer, that's when you write plenty. And, uh, and uh, I, I remember when we were in JSS, we were supposed to do a Greek. And usually in that a Greek exam, BEC, they bring you one insect. They, they either ask you to draw and fully label. How many of you remember? The JSS people, not uh, Gold Coast, JSS people. And there was a guy in my class. Instead of him to learn all the, all the insects that we learned about, 
who destroy farms, the pests and the rodents. He didn't. He just learned church of life. He learned how to draw the church of life from, from the head to the everything. And he crammed it. Baba. And when we got there, church of life didn't come. Hallelujah. Locust came. Draw and label with diagram. <laughs> the guy raises his says, Oh God, church a fly, no church a fly. I will draw church a fly. <laughs> Praise the Lord. You see the way you are laughing. Even though you have struggles and difficulties, but you are laughing. I pray it shall be permanent. <laughs> he said, I will draw church a fly. He drew church a fly, labeled it. Then he wrote underneath it. This church of fly looks like locust. All you have to do is get one locust, put it by the side of church of fly, and you will see they have the same eye, same ear, same hands. They crawl the same. They are all inset. Finish. The guy has set his own question and he's answering it. Adam set his own question. When we fall from grace, we fall from glory, the simple things become complicated for us. But I pray for somebody tonight, the Lord shall help us out. So he came into the dispensation of conscience. This is A, this is B, this is C. Adam was supposed to have his needs met in the glory of God, not his needs met by faith. Philippians 4.19, my God shall supply all your needs according to the riches of his glory in Christ Jesus. What it means is that when you are in God's glory, your needs are taken care of. So when he was in the glory, all they told him was, they brought him seeds and God said to him, these seeds, multiply it. Make sure it will be fruitful. Make sure the seed will multiply and make sure it will become fruit and then it will replenish. When you take one, that one must tend to ten so that it doesn't finish and then subdue everywhere you go and have dominion but the moment he fell short of the glory he was kicked out now he has to sweat and even when he's sweating and he's breaking the ground and he plants a seed the seed that must grow is also being contended with by a thorn by a thistle by a weed for the same nutrient in the soil which was not the case because now he has fallen but I can see something bringing somebody into restoration and it is called the grace of God. We didn't deserve it. We didn't know it. We didn't qualify for it but God sat in his sovereign place and he said if I leave this Adam he will never be able to come back because he's going home. Because I kicked him out he is going and going and going and going. At a point God looked on the earth and he saw the heart of man that it had become desperately wicked. The heart was corrupted. The heart was destroyed. The heart was messed up. Don't joke with a heart absent of God or without the presence of God. It can mess everything around. But when grace encounters it, that heart can be mended. That heart can be rebuilt. That heart can be restored. That heart can be fixed. Fix, shout grace. Are you here? By the time we are done with this week prayer and fasting, some of you will see things your sweat couldn't have brought you. You will hear things that your connection couldn't give to you. You will walk to places that your certificate, if we add all the word certificate to it, it can never be able to bring you there. I say you will see grace at work. Grace will turn your story around. Grace will shift somebody's place. Shout grace. Kasa adum. Sesame. So the dispensation of conscience. Then they moved from dispensation of conscience and they came to human government. Say human government. Because they are using their own brain. 
So one day there was a bad man. His name is called Nimrod. He controlled the whole world. Now the world is coming to a place we call the world order. One world order. But I pray that you won't contribute to it. God will lift you up. That the standard of the world will be shorter than yours. In the name of Jesus. Today a lot of Christians don't want to participate in anything social. In anything society. We just want to be in the sanctuary. This is why I introduced the gospel of the kingdom. The gospel of the kingdom is two. Say two. It has impact in the sanctuary. And it has effect in the society. The reason why a time is coming, write it down. The church in Ghana is going to struggle. I saw in a vision. Ghana is gradually going to become like Nigeria. If we don't rise up as a church, corruption will just... And it will scatter all over the place. And a time will come because the church is not involved in decision making. They will make decision. It will favor church and you have to comply. I'm looking for a time and an age where God will raise people like you and I. Everywhere that we will not only last per a government... The government that will come, will come and pass. And the next government that will come, will say, no, I can't rule. Unless I have this sister or this brother still on the seat. May your place be established. Daniel reigned in four governments. Any president who came to Babylon, he couldn't rule without Daniel. May God make you significant that it does not matter the party in power. You will be relevant. You will be relevant. This one, it is an act of grace. If grace doesn't put you there, you can never have it. Receive the act of grace. Receive the works of grace. Receive the benefit of grace. If grace puts you there no man can take you out if grace says this is your seat they can do everything they like they can disgrace you they can displace you but you will still be in the place who we see who speaks a word and it comes to pass when the lord has not commanded i came this evening to tell somebody the grace of the lord is repositioning The second president came and then he said, he called his cabinet. He said, I can't do anything. Chief of defense staff must be that Daniel. He's not my party member. But he is in power because God has given him power. What is man that you are mindful of him? The son of man that you visit him. For you have made him a little lower than yourself. God placed you here. So that if nobody knows how God looks like. When they see you, they must know who God is. When they experience you, they must know who God is. When they hear you talk, they must know God's voice. Receive your place. So human government and Nimrod control the people. If you put a man without God in power. He thinks he's controller, accountant, general. He wants to control. He wants to tell you where to go. Even places he himself can go, he wants you to go. But thank God for our God. That if any man wants to mess up with his plan, he shows the man that he is in charge. Daniel 4, 17. This is the decree of the watchers. And the announcers have made it clear. To the intent that all men may know. From the white house to the black house. All men may know. From Jubilee house to outside. All men may know. From Labadi to not all men may know that God rules in the affairs of men. Grace is God ruling. When you define grace, grace is God's redemption at Christ's expense. G for God. R for redemption. A for arts. 
See for Christ. Say Christ. If for expense. I feel something in the atmosphere. By Friday, somebody's expectation will be standing in his face. I see seven people in this place that God is moving something from behind you and is putting it in front of you and you are holding it as your testimony. By Sunday, you will share it. God's redemption. It means God's will. Any time is the will of God. Don't pay the bill. Go to God for the bill. Say will of God. He will take care of the bill. Some of you are here. I just heard in my ears. There are some costs and expenses choking you. Because your bank account is not up to it. But I pray for you by grace. Before the end of the prayer and fasting. Let there be a knock on your door. Let there be a quick ring on your mobile money account. Let there be a quick ring in your bank account. Let it be some blessing you have not worked for. But God has worked for it. Ultimate Christian ministry. Are you here at all? I said let God do something fresh for you. Receive God. So Nimrod controlled the people. While he controlled the people, God said, no, 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 no. The Bible said, the people of the earth, they began to move from the east. And they were going to Shania, the west. That is what the world has become. Anything that comes from the west is the best. Anything that comes from the west is the best. So our model of church system is parting after the westerns. But it is not so. If you have done a bit of civilization, you will agree with me that civilization started in Africa. Say Africa. I was studying anthropology and I found out the first settlers in China, they were black Chinese. They, they migrated from some part of Ethiopia and Lebanon. Hallelujah. Did you know the reason why Nigeria is in a very prophetic timeline in the world is because in the days of the early apostles, the Nigerians were there. Hallelujah. There was a guy called Simeon of Niger. And Nigerian simply means those who live around the Niger. So that guy traveled all the way to Ethiopia and from Ethiopia, Sudan. Sudan, then he settled at that place where they call Nigeria now. No wonder they are faith level in some way. No wonder when they do church in some way. But I pray grace will locate Ghana. I said grace shall locate Ghana. Ultimate Christian ministry, grace will locate you. Grace will locate daddy and mommy. Grace will locate the pastors. Grace will locate the leaders. Grace will locate children. Everybody receive your portion. So the guys were moving from the east. We are going to pray very shortly. And they were going to the west. Now, if the light, if the sun rises from the east, it means illumination comes from the east. And if you go to the west, it means ignorance, darkness goes to the... Because if light is here, and you are going away from the light, you are walking into... So why is it that we copy everything from the west? Sometimes even the way preachers preach, you want to sound like some bishop from U.S. Say, I hear you. Say, power. Give me some sound. If I say something, you say, say, power. Master, be in the spirit. Say, grace. 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 Master, if you know, be that one, the anointed day inside. The anointing is upon you. So God said, these people are walking away from the light. If I leave them, 
They will be in darkness, work in darkness, rule in darkness, do everything in darkness, and darkness will become their light. The Bible said, woe to you if your light becomes darkness and your darkness becomes light. In John chapter 9, Jesus said, Papa, and the new friend, O share and the the disciples, and beside Jesus said, When I am born, I am a papa, I am a papa. I am a papa. I Jesus said, I am a papa. I am a papa. I can see Thomas coming. I am a papa. I am a papa. I am a then Jesus said, and you know so. Then they asked, I can see Judas coming and say, Master, can I ask a question? You know, as for me, I deal with money. I don't ask questions. But I want to ask a question. Say, Then Jesus said, so that the glory of the Lord will be seen in his life. I caught this revelation that there are some things God pushes us into. So that men will see his power. So that men will see his glory. So that men will encounter him. When I entered here, I said, this place is better than Musica. I feel better in this place. But if what happened did not happen, we would not have come here. The grace of God will change somebody's place. Did you hear what I said? You are calculating with your mind. That's why you don't believe what I'm saying. But I said the grace of God will change somebody's place. Do you know that God gives us different graces for our places? So the reason why somebody is a teacher is because his place as a teacher, he has the grace of a teacher. So if you're an evangelist and you want to behave like the teacher, something will go wrong. When you are teaching, people will be sleeping. Because your own, oh no, you must bring fire. So if you're an evangelist, you're trying to teach. I want to, today I want to teach. Then you stand there, I want to teach you the word of God. Before you realize, you see, teachers are very calm. Are you getting it? But before you realize, you are insulting people. Because it is your grace. Are you here? If you are an evangelist and you try to, listen, the reason why John the Baptist left his father, he left the temple and went to the wilderness was because the message he would preach in the church, the church members of his father, he would scatter everybody. Because his father, Zachariah, is calm. The Lord be with you. Shall we rise? Please, shall we rise? I'm commanding you to rise. Daddy, you caught the revelation. Shall we say it? May the Lord be gracious unto you. John won't say that. He said, repent. Then grace will come. Then he will look at you and say, your head like a snake. It's in the Bible. He said, you are vipers. You know, be snake. My mother taught me something. She said, if somebody looks at you and says, he has not insulted you. But when he compares it with something. That's where you can tell if it's an insult. Feel free and go. Praise the Lord. Say grace. So God stepped down and then he put away in one month in the supervisor of the day. Put it in his head. If he opens his mouth to give somebody instruction, go and bring break. He says it in way. So the workers don't understand. Then the worker, who is supposed to lay the bricks, he gave one fancy. Then he gave another English. Then he gave another man gun. Then he gave another man <laughs> the bani. Then he gave another one, Yoruba. So when the supervisor is saying work is not done, he is saying it in error. So the people there, they are saying, 
Listen, the way you are laughing, somebody for, from January to now, you've never laughed properly. You've never laughed properly because Corona has messed up some things. So, the piano why you you as if you are telling God, do something for me. So you better laugh. So he divided their language because they were one. When the people are one and they are not even in the will of God, anything they seek to do, it will work. Because there is unity in unity, in strength, in community. So he divided their tongue. Then they started moving around. Human gave Obi a copen a dian, Obi a copen, Obi Obi wa on in nemo wa peni pet two hundred. The one who is here Obi a kanga. I said, "Yeah, what's what's the gang on?" Ah, tete, ingo ya. Then then you will get an answer. I said, "Bane wa ya la ba di," and they settled at la ba di. Then another one was walking. He was saying, he was speaking the Bani. That's about, that's about, that's about, that's about, that's about, that's about. Then somebody heard at the back said, nah. He said, I don't get my partner. He said, Ila Aina Anta. Then he went to him. He said, let's go and settle in Tamale. So they divided and they spread all over the place. Can I tell somebody a prophetic word from here? If the enemy in the course of this fasting has teamed up very strong, a strong company, a strong association, a strong gathering to frustrate your cause, I divide your tongue. I said, I divide their tongue. All the witches from your background, we scatter the agreement. Let there be a fight in the midst of their decision. Let them not resolve. Let everybody be angry and let them be divided. He said, anyone that shall gather against you shall not stand. They shall scatter. This evening, let them scatter. 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 As they take your glory to tear it into pieces. Let there be a fight and a misunderstanding that will make them leave the glory and go and fight and scatter. Receive it. God can put confusion in the midst of your enemies. It is also grace. Grace is winning the fight without throwing a blow. I am wasting time on this message. Don't worry, tomorrow I'll be here. Even if Jesus comes, we'll go to heaven. I will beg him, let me finish the message. So he divided their tongue. They scattered. The human government, human government, human government, human government, human. Then God looked around. Uh, then he saw Abraham in some shrine in Haran, belonging to his father Terah. The guy was 70 years, 70, well, he had reached 74, 75. And God went to say, hey, Abby, the way you are seriously doing idolatry here, if I can pick you and show you another way, you will do it for me. The Bible said, God told Abraham, I love you because you will instruct your family and your children and your children's children after me. Some people cry and they say, eh, Abraham gave tight. And, and then um, Jacob also gave tight. But the Bible talks that Abraham gave tight only once. If he did it only once, the time he did it, Jacob was not even born. How did Jacob get to know? It's because he taught them. Because when Jacob was born, he was still alive. He was grandpa. So he took Jacob in his hand. He took Esau in the other hand. Then he would say, ta 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 Baby, careful. Baby. So when they were growing up, he said, hey, if God does anything for you, don't spend first. Take a portion. 
give it to God. Then you can look on to the rest. So when one day Jacob was frustrated and he was migrating, he said to God, he came to God and said, God, now I don't have anything because I have messed up my life. I stole somebody's blessing and I'm, I'm struggling with this blessing. But if you will be with me and you will bless me and you will make what I'm going to do to prosper, you know that I'll give you your share. Somebody somewhere is saying that it's not important. But you, when you work, you want to be paid. That one is important. Hello? When you and people have struggled, those days, let me chase a petrocra, Bela. Near that bressa, near cheap Bela Kitwebi. Won't you be that? We are suspect. Papa, no, what you want? What is by word of knowledge? Man, who's a what you be? Now say a qua boni we are a bua yaqua. We go with our dog, and it's the dog who will catch the animal. Ya bojano, na kamane namo. Buhani se, bela ne tuefi, tokrobin, pum. One se, kamano, zoom, no dinumu. Namo wa kamane be a friend of Charles, Charles Kombal. Ne pa chow, ya frau Charles ha, mama ubufu. O papa to Charles. Meso kamane mene ne papa. Nje meso mato ne Charles. O wo Charles ni is different from my own. No when you go to Liberia, chale, chale. When you call somebody Charlie, it's an insult. Sir, who on can we say Charlie? I am Charlie Wati. We say Obisu Charlie, Charlie, Charlie Chaplin. Inti, I'm not in Ghana. Mama Obunfu. Hallelujah. So the dog caught the animal for us. Ye we are ye chap when it's in Kama ni jina ho. I say brothers, I dey here. Give me my share. And anytime we catch that kind of meat, we catch the head for the dog. In today, Bill Ben will say, That friend, Victoria, no DHT. Now, cram my po, and him say, So, ya dear, who acknowledge what done I say? No, but say, do it, I you, How much more God, who doesn't need your consent, who doesn't need your affirmation? Who doesn't need your credence? He has been God before you came into this world. And your thanking him will not change him. So God called Abraham. And he said, leave your father's house. In the course of this week's prayer and fasting, some father's houses that have been controlled by some demonic fathers, they will lose you. I said they shall lose you. There will be family deliverance. Sicknesses that have been hereditary. It will be cut off from your time. Your children will be free. Your grandchildren will be free. As a matter of fact, I speak into somebody's blood. That sickness they have diagnosed, which was in your grandmother, which was in your grandfather, I command it to die. I said die. I said die. I said die. Diabetes. Die. They won't find it again. High blood pressure. Grandma died of it. Auntie died of it. You too. Yours is worse. I declare in the name of Jesus. You are delivered. You are delivered. You are delivered. Shout, oh God. By your grace, I am out. Some people have been carrying burdens of evil. Bad days of demonic activity. Some transaction went on in your family so many years ago before you were born. And once a while, some demons visit that transaction. It's a new transaction. If any man be in Christ, he's a new creation. Some of you are sitting down like you don't know what we are doing. May this bring somebody a testimony. Hey, there are families that people are bound. They took one, they take one. 
two, three, four steps, and something pulls them backward. They take steps one, two, three, and something pulls them backward. I see some power about to be effected on that rope. This time, you thought that when you take a step, you will come back, but I can see free, 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 free. For if the sun sets you free, you shall be free indeed. Say grace sets free. In fact, the Lord said to me right now to tell you, anything that is going on in your family without his approval, he has disapproved it. There are families that orders that have been given concerning marriages are being reversed now. I said reversed now. Those are against childbirth are being reversed now. Those against health are being reversed now. Receive your portion. Receive your portion. Receive your portion. Say free. I feel good, but I want us to pray. Don't worry, the message we can continue. If I don't finish in the two days, daddy will bring me back. Hallelujah. Even if daddy doesn't bring me back, I will come myself. Now I know where the church is. Hey. I said, I know where the church is. I'm observing you. I'm checking meeting days and everything. Now it's easy. Because if I come, I'll come with my mask. Now sit there. Hallelujah. Ma ma mommy is even saying, I thought you will come back. Uh, mommy just told me. Praise the Lord. The Lord said he has disapproved it. Any disappointment in the spirit, it has been disapproved. Any shock in the spirit, it has been disapproved. Any negative news, I declare the Lord has disapproved it. In the name of Jesus, who we see, who can speak a thing for it to come to pass. When Jehovah has not signed it, he said, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Every word that is spoken in judgment, I condemn it. Hey, I condemn it. I say, I condemn it. I condemn it. I condemn it. You know what the Lord is telling me? The Lord said I should tell 21 people in this place that He's renewing the grace on your life. I don't know who the 21 people are, but the Lord said He's renewing the grace. Some things have made you unable to feel the grace, experience the grace, sense the grace, know the grace. But the grace is given to you so that you will labor more, so that you'll be restored. So he is renewing. The way you felt when you encountered Christ, you will feel that again. It shall be sustained. So grace called Abraham. Grace is calling somebody this evening. You have done it with your knowledge. Done it with your strength. Done it with your power. He's still giving you nothing. But I introduce to you the God that when he steps in, he will not let you do it. It is him who will be at work in you. Both to will and to do according to his good pleasure according to his good purpose receive grace receive grace receive grace take grace so he called abraham and then he said abraham leave when you leave i will show you a place say place i told you from the beginning that grace will give you your place. Do you remember? 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 18. He said, every part of the members of the body has been put there as it pleased God according to their specific assignments so that the nose will not be envious of the ear. The reason why you are jealous and envious is because you have misplaced your place. 
The day John the Baptist was misplaced, he lost his head. Anytime you are misplaced, your glory goes. Your head goes. Your establishment goes. Because the five most important organs that are for the senses of man are on the head. So when John the Baptist knew his place, he said he must increase, but I must decrease. Do you know there are certain people, your place is to be insignificant. Because if you are not in the equation, it will not be perfect, yet you will not be recognized. I want recognition. Daddy, sorry to say this. Our churches are not meeting the targets of the Lord because God has too many apostles, too many prophets, too many pastors, too many evangelists, too many teachers, very few laborers. So he said, the work is plenty. But those who have made themselves supervisors, See, I'm an apostle, you know. When I talk, say amen. I'm a prophet. My eyes have opened. Mm. Mami Kowechi. Me who be be? Some men deal with it. Ahu be u obi anti mi yangoshi. Masha. If you care to know by the standard of Elijah. There are over 7,000 people who can deal with the same thing. Hey, you don't need to tell us. Jesus said, the harvest is plenty. How many archbishops will preach by the roadside? But when they were not bishops, archbishop, prophet, they, go, they were at the roadside preaching everywhere. Now, you know, God lifts you. God increases you. When God blesses you, you can't do everything everybody is doing. It is a promotion. It's a lie. He that wants to be the greatest must serve. And there is no end to his service until the master comes to reward everybody. So some he gives five abilities. Some he gives two abilities. Some he gives one. And he leaves them to work until the day he will come back. So your being bishop or elder or deacon doesn't mean cross your leg. Grace! For complete restoration. I'm calling back the church to the basics. That's what the apostles do. Praise the Lord. Are you ready to pray? He said, so, can, can you project Matthew 9? Matthew chapter 9, verse 37. Are you doing projection? Okay. Listen, we are going to pray. Ah, this evening, God... Is sharpening somebody's gifts. You will sit in the office and still function as a rep of God in the office. Do you know there are some of us, if God doesn't keep us in the office, injustice will rule in that office. So he said, Abraham, come. Okay. He said, then he said unto them, disciples, the harvest is 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 what's the meaning of plenteous it means it's many more much but say but the laborers are the laborers are the laborers are did he say the apostles did he say the prophets did he say evangelists did he say pastors did he say prayer warriors he said what he said what? He said what? Who wants to be a laborer? It's easy to raise your hand. When we're putting up this tent, how many of us joined in the labor? You were at work. When they say, oh, we need money to buy this, to pay the workers. Now we're to work for To me, total data, 200 cities. Offering time, so I would one Ghana. You are not liberal. You are spectator. 
is that the lepers are the reason why people are dying of sicknesses is because the laborers are. The reason why sin is growing is because the laborers are. Then let's go to the next verse. He said, now do what? Do what? Do what? Oh, join me. Do what? What are we doing this week? What are we doing this week? We are praying for what? Grace. Harvest. We are praying for the grace. But listen to where we miss it. Pray therefore the Lord of the harvest that he will send forth. Say send forth. Say send forth. Now, go back to the, next, the first verse. We, went, we were at 37. We are doing Bible studies. Some of you don't like Bible studies. You like kaya, 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 kaya. Awo, 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 awo. But all the awo, 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 awo is only a quarter. Matthew 6. He said, Give. He said, Pray. He said, Fast. Then the last one is the word. I will show you. Matthew 6. He talked about give, pray, fast. Then he jumped to chapter 7. Then from verse 20 there, he said, He that hears my saying and does them will be likened to the wise man who built his house. So the give, the pray, the fast. You do all these things, you have done 75%. It still won't get the building done. Because these three things become the components that will make the building strong. Then he says, you now do the word. So you pray fast and give. You don't like Bible, forget it. I like the silence. I feel you good. Pa, na, 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 na. I knew that I would. Look cool. One of these days, the mouse will be caught by the trap. Have you seen that video? The mouse was walking around the trap. And then he was saying, I believe in miracles. Hey. He saw the cheese there. He said, it's good now. Hey. Hey. He did uh, took the thing. The trap was the same. He did it three times. The fourth time. He was doing it. The trap. Just, bah! Let me teach him. Now nah, it's not a miracle. So he said, pray the Lord of the harvest. Verse 38, please. Pray the Lord of the harvest. So, the laborers, can I ask a question? Where are they? They are in the vineyard working, isn't it? So this is the vineyard, isn't it? Now the harvest is outside the vineyard. So pray the Lord of the harvest to send forth. Why is he sending forth? Is it from heaven? Is it from the multitude? Is it from the world? Why is he sending forth the laborers? From the church. So for us to gather to pray, Lord, send us rich men. Bring us powerful people. It's wrong. It's the same people who are here, the laborers. That you should pray that God will make rich. God will empower. God will raise up. God will promote. God will make big. And they'll go out. And bring the people. Clap for me for Bible studies. Sister, you are not clapping. Anybody who is not for me is against. I'll suspect you. Hallelujah. He didn't say the church should pray for people to come and become instrumentalists. No. The ones that are here now, they should multiply. So as you are playing like this, don't be selfish playing. Look for somebody and train. Look for somebody and help. Let the person copy. So that the day you are not around, because God will send you, then we have replacement. Pray the Lord of the harvest. Don't pray for money. There are things you do, money will follow by force. Oh God, increase my finances. It's good. God increases anything. But there are things you can do that will save you that prayer. Do you know sometimes there are certain prayers when we pray in church. Some people don't pray because it doesn't cause. We, let's pray. Anybody who is sick, God should heal the person. He is not sick. Why should he pray? Well, let's pray. I heard a story of a guy 
whose best friend was about to marry. And he wanted to surprise his friend. Because both of them had only one kind of shoe. They bought it at Makola. After one hustle, they went to steal somebody's coconut and sold it and used some to buy the shoe. It's been over seven years. They still keep the same shoe. So the guy is going to marry. Say he will surprise him. He has prayed that he's not got money to buy a new shoe. So he came to Ultimate Christian Ministry. International. And the day he came, daddy was on fire on the pulpit. Daddy fired the word. Everywhere was on fire. And the guy heard that. Daddy said, God can answer every prayer. So before daddy finished and made altar call, the guy jumped to the front. God, shoe. I need a new shoe. He prayed, I need a new shoe. I need a new shoe, new shoe, new shoe. Somebody thought it was a new tongue. Because the new shoe had changed to new shoe, new shoe, new shoe, new shoe, new shoe, new shoe, new shoe. Are they new shoe? Are they new shoe? New shoe, new shoe. Sometimes when we speak in the tongues, eh, some of the tongues are suspicious. You know, when I became born again, my tongue was gear, 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 gear. Because I was saying, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. In a Methodist year, ah, then my tongue flipped. Then it changed from Jesus, gear, 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 gear. It, when I go to church, and they say, pray. I will pray five minutes. My prayer point is finished. Ah, then I will zoom into the gear. I don't know whether it's first, second, third, or fourth, mama. I don't know. But I'll be in the corner. I'll say, gear. 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 Then if a leader, Reverend Perry, J.D. Perry, he will start say, pray, pray, pray. Then you hear him say, Maka Saranda. When he starts his own, I'll say, gear, 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 gear. I, I can do the gear, 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 gear. One day I was doing gear, gear, the Holy Spirit said, hey, stop that rough. Am I, am I a clutch? Or am I an accelerator? May God multiply your tongues. When you have needs, your prayers are some way. But when your needs are met, if, watch, watch the praise and worship leaders. Anytime they lead, things are okay for them. You see it. Brothers and sisters, the Lord is good. But when they come like this, Sister Florence comes like this. Sorry. Praise the Lord. Know that she's either tired from where she's coming from or that some money she's expecting didn't come. Then she will stand. We are going to sing. You know, we are going to sing. The Lord is good at all times. Today we will sing. When they raise songs like that, even their situations are affected by the song. But if money is in his pocket, this kind God, oh, I've never seen. May God increase your source. Receive supply. Receive increase. Please stand to your feet. So down now, see a He said, pray that the Lord will send forth. Say, send forth. If you are not going to do anything, he won't give you grace. So the sending forth means give them the power that when they go out, they will bring fruits from the harvest. Hallelujah. Somebody here. Somebody Meanwhile, he said, leave the adrenaline for me. Be anxious for the dreams. To me, I dream of parliamentarians. I dream of politicians. I dream of um, journalists. I dream of footballers. I dream of Obia. I dream of drama. Let this mind be in you. As it was in Christ Jesus. Who did not see it being robbed. Not to be equal with God. He left his place as God. And he took the place of a man. That's what grace does. And he left his place as a man. And he lowered himself. And died the death on the cross. Wherefore God. He didn't say God has exalted him. He said God has so highly exalted him. Ah, that at the mention of the name Jesus. Every knee should bow. Because he gave him a new name. And every tongue should confess. When will you think about God? 
He said he will send forth. Say send forth. The word send forth is from the Greek word ek balo. Say ek balo. Say ek balo. Ek balo means to force it out. To push it out. So we were not designed to meet like this all the time. We were designed that after we have come here, we have loaded our guns. We move out. By the time you are coming back, you have another person like yourself. You have two people like yourself. You have five people like yourself. That's what we should be doing. Sister, what you are doing? Is it your company? Why is it not your company? You're laughing. Ah, that's money. Ah, my eye just opened. The camera in your hand, I saw it as money. And the Lord said, tell her, I have given her another channel of money making. If you can learn more about how to make this a company, then the company will be blessed. It will make more money. And you will train more people. That the day that you have to write exam somewhere, people will still be around doing the work. That's money. I pray grace upon you. That the Lord will teach you the way to go. Have you always been doing it in the church? Or you come once a while to do it? Daddy, is she punctual? Hallelujah. Pray the Lord. Ek balo. Say ek balo. <clears throat> now, the word balo is the word we get ballistic. Bomb. Blast from. The small gun that shoots. That gun is nothing. But there is a bullet inside. That bullet, if you take it out, it can't do you anything. If you hold the gun, you turn it, throw it, you can play with it. It can't do you anything. But when you put the bullet inside the gun, and you clock it, and you, sh you, 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 you clock it, you shoot, you trigger it, there is a certain force in the gun that will thrust the bullet out. That force is what kills people. Our going out will only be essential dependent on the force on you. So if your grace is not activated, forget. People have money on their mobile money account in the phone. But until they dial star 138 and they buy credit, the money can be in their wallet. There is money, but they can't make call. Why? Because they have not activated the code that will take money and change it into credit that will make call possible. So when you receive Christ by grace, through faith, he gave you grace. That's the scripture I read. He said, I'm the least. I was born abnormally. But by the grace that I was given, we are going to pray. Listen to me, people of God. I feel like telling somebody that the grace you are praying for, for restoration, for complete restoration, it will be the grace that will make you influential. That when you walk to a place, by the time you are living there, three people are following you to church. Two people are following you to church. Can you imagine that when we come to church, Daddy, please permit me to do this. I know Daddy was director. Please, if I don't get the position right, forgive me. He was director in one of the departments. I mean, the big, big department in Cocoa Board, right? Now, can you imagine that because of daddy being a director, we come to church and we have five directors from different places who are daddy's friends that daddy has attracted to this place. And now they, one in GES, one in scholarship secretariat, one in some big bank. When you need something, all you need is to tell daddy, he will pick your phone. He said, my good friend in GES. Then he will call. He said, one of my very hard-working members in church has applied for, you see, so please, can you look into it for me? That is not favoritism. That is not nepotism. It is an act of grace. When did it become an act of grace? The grace on daddy as a director attracted that person into the vineyard. Hey, don't let anybody deceive you. Say, Obi, I know Obi. Obi, Obi. 
you can be in a queue for hours. No be bra. Ni e son in sem. Oh say you are welcome. Say 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 ni adinu kok counter back. We be one five minutes, ten minutes. No, but now you discard the net. We be dick you for two hours. Uso uso be a new be a. We be nia eight eight is school up we nia. You say computer four be we nia twenty five. Aggregate 25. Computer to me for 25. Oh, just six or seven or eight or nine. We're jumping 15, 18, 20, 25. Pim. What's your beer and your beer? Say, Father, let grace that makes a statement of influence come upon me. Everybody be on your feet. Say in the name of Jesus. This morning. This moment, sorry, moment. let the grace of God the grace that, of makes God. that makes a statement come upon my life upon in, the name of Jesus. in the name of Jesus. Say, let the grace, let the grace within me within be activated. Be activated. Jesus was born 30 years. No, no, beer. 30 years. No, no, beer. He couldn't do anything. But one day, grace came upon him. Grace rested upon him. And a voice introduced him. Bible said the spirit came upon him. And he led him into the wilderness. Some of you are already in Christ. You have found grace. But let that grace be activated. But Apostle Paul could write more than half of the New Testament, but he didn't know until he received grace. Because grace has not been received. He said, I was the chief of sinners, I did it ignorantly. He said, when I was a child, I behaved like a child. But now that I am no more a child, I know what grace is. I have put childish things away. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Listen, common, certain basic things you can't do. You have been in church for years. You can't pray alone for one hour. Something is wrong. But you can cry for one hour. Munjami, Munjami, Munjano. And the man su su. Oh, we say I'm more busy. So I want that. Ultimate Christian ministry. Grace is activated. The church must expand. This land around us must become too small. Thirteen years. Thirteen years, Daddy. 13 years. Mary was 13 years and she conceived Jesus and gave birth to the greatest person ever. Something will be born from this prayer and fasting. 13 years. Lift up your right. Say, Father, Father let grace, let the grace be, activated be activated in me. In me. Let Grace, grace be, activated be activated from within me, from within upon, me. upon me. Let grace, grace be, activated. be activated. Oh Lord, oh Lord. Activate, activate your grace, your grace upon me. Upon oh Lord, oh Lord. stir up stir your grace, grace within me. Grace. Oh God, activate, activate your grace, grace in my life. He says it's not of works, but it's of grace. So that nobody will boast. I am the least. It doesn't matter. When grace comes and you receive, you can be the greatest apostle. He said, I was born abnormally. Abnormally means that I was not part of the apostles when they were working with Jesus. Me, I was somewhere. And my studies have proven to me that Apostle Paul was the rich young ruler. Another time, come and show you why. Jesus said, the laws... He said, I've obeyed all. It's the same apostle who said, concerning the law, I was 
blameless. And the guy was a lawyer, a ruler. He was rich. Paul, Jesus' friend, was a bad man. But one day, as he was going to persecute the church, Jesus stood in front of him. So, so, why do you persecute me? Then, then he said, my Lord, my Lord, say grace. Say, Lord, as I pray, pray. in the name of Jesus, the name of Jesus. Activate, activate your grace pray. upon my life. Stir up Stir. your grace Stir. upon my life. Stir up Stir. your grace Stir. upon my life. Activate, 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 activate your grace on my life. Your grace for my place. Your grace for my position. Your grace for my calling activate sister ma we nim bring na bomb pai ko for na we see we nim am connection e be bo anka bo out that did you know that john the disciple was the guy who was the most influential among the apostles it took him for peter to be an eye witness of Jesus' crucifixion. We need influential people around. Can you imagine? We have people in church who own land around here. Then talk. I get what I'm saying. The same people you are buying land from, they are dashing land to other people. We are paying for tickets. For air, air, airlines, planes. Somebody takes money, buys plane, does it to somebody else. Um, um, always called Are we together? Something you are struggling for, somebody is getting with ease. There is a position you are praying to be promoted into. Somebody is praying to leave. It's grace. This is the audacity of grace. What you are sweating to have, somebody is pushing it away. I don't like it. Because what trial? Let grace be activated in your life. I said, let grace be activated in your life. I said, let grace be activated in your life. Listen, we are breathing in and out. It's grace. But it must translate into influence, impact, activities, relevance, attraction. Heaven, there will be shocks. Say, Lord, activate your grace for the task on my life. Say, Father, activate your grace for the task on my life. Say, Father, activate your grace upon me. Your grace upon me. My family, my career, my destiny, my purpose, my calling. Oh, God, activate, 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 activate your grace. When grace is activated, eh, the same Peter who is crying because a little child said, oh, come on, be. he will stand before the crowd and say, who shall we listen to? Shall we listen to you or shall we listen to God? Because first, he was around the grace. It was not activated. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Please lift up your right hand. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. As I pray tonight, As I, pray tonight I humbly ask. I humbly ask Holy, Ghost, Holy Ghost, activate your grace on my life. Stir up that grace within me. That grace I have received. Let it be activated for the task, for the assignment, for the work I have to do. Oh Lord, activate it. Activate it. Activate it. Stir it up. Give me Hebrews 2 verse 4. God himself testified with them, witnessed with them in miracles, in signs, in wonders, okay, and gifts of the Holy Spirit according to his own will. So listen, you are not asking for something you want. You are asking for something he wants you to have. According to his own will. 
Say, Father, tonight, let your grace I have received in Christ become effective. Become effective. Become effective. Become, effective. become useful become useful in my life. In my life. From today, from let today. grace be activated. Be activated. The Bible said when they were threatened not to preach in the name of Jesus, they gathered like this and they prayed. The place shook. We like the shaking, but it's not enough. They were filled with the boldness. We like being filled. Oh, oh, kabara batu, kabara, katas, and prophesy. It's not enough. And he said, and great grace was also upon them. For him to say great means the one that was on them was not great. There are levels. Something you will cry before you do. Somebody will stand there laughing and it's done. Can you imagine there is one million dollars in somebody's account and you are praying for thousand dollars. That one million dollar person, when he walks in there, it's not prayer. It's player. He doesn't need to pray. He needs to play. Hello? Because what is a thousand to a million? That is thousand times thousand. Deuteronomy 1, 11. And the Lord will make you a thousand times more. Amen. So he will play. So then to the old have my drink. Shoo, 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 new shoe, new shoe, new shoe. Jiska. Man said that the Jiska my brand here. Jikoto will new shoe. Now that is that is it. Ultimate Christian ministry. Lord, do something. Say, Lord, Lord, activate grace. Activate grace. Listen, there are doors that I see before people. But you have been standing in front of the door for a long time. Because what is on your life cannot be recognized by the door for it to open. You know, there are different types of doors. There's a door you have to open. There's a door, the moment you get there, it opens. I see seven people. I see two among the pastors. You have been praying for one level. But the door has been shut. But this evening the Lord said, because I'm increasing your purpose in manifestation, the door is opened. Lift up your right hand. Say grace. Grace. Be activated. Be activated. On my life. On my life. On my family. On my family. On the church. On the church. On our daddy and mommy. On our daddy and mommy. On the leadership. On the leadership. Say grace. Grace. Be activated. Be activated. In the name of Jesus. Let grace be activated upon the church. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I want to make you smile. I want to bless make your heart. heart. Sing it in. Jesus, Jesus, my love. I want to make you proud. I want to bless your heart. Jesus, Jesus, my love. I want to bless your heart. I want to touch your heart. Hey, Jesus, Jesus, my love. I want to bless your heart. Let grace be activated. I want to make you proud. Please place your right hand on your head. Jesus, my love. Let something unusual begin from today. I want to make you smile. Ultimate Christian ministry will not be the same want again. To make you proud. We have entered into our bar mitzvah. We have entered the season of responsibility. We have entered into the season of expansion. Yes, we were reproducing, but it is in a different level. We declare grace is activated. In the name of Jesus. As you have stepped here tonight. 
The grace of the Lord has located you. Amen. The grace of the Lord is functioning within you. Amen. There are things you will only be willing to do. But the rest will be by the hand of God. It shall be by the power of the Lord. It shall be by the grace of God. Listen to me, people of God. Whatever Corona ate, Corona is a canker. It's a locust. After all of this, he will pour out his grace upon all flesh. I see restoration. Businesses are moving in a higher level than even how they were before they lost customers, before they lost money. Restoration. Hey, things will never be the same again. That means the things that were small cannot remain small again. They have to become bigger. May yours increase in the name of Jesus. I see heaviness, heaviness that has sat on people living and they are becoming light. I said they are becoming light. I said they are becoming light for the yoke is broken. Anything that made us unable to advance is removed right now. Because of grace that is activated, your strength is activated, your energy is increased. Please put your hand on your head. The last thing I do. In the course of this fast, some of you, hear this, some of you, after the fast, you will even do more for yourself. I'm telling what I'm hearing. Because your appetite is changing. I said your appetite is changing. Your desires are changing. Your prayer pattern is changing. In the choir, the Lord is going to wake certain people up by dawn. Before morning. And when he awakens you, he will give you the morning songs. The morning compositions, the songs of his beloved. I don't know who it is, but it is resting upon somebody right Jesus. now. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Just Activations. I want to bless your heart. There are different ways God is going to do things in our lives. As your hand is on your head, you are a candidate for something God is doing. Receive yours now. Receive yours now. Receive yours now. A fresh level. A new door. My brother in the suit. Please come to me. Yes. Please come. When you get closer, stretch your hand like you are something. Like, like somebody has promised you what you have been desiring for. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Be, be active and be smart. Follow me. Follow me. Listen, where you are at is not your best. No matter what you are getting. Because I see a better offer coming from the side. Not to put you out, but to be on the side in addition to what you are doing. I called you out because the Lord said, tell him where he is is only just enough, but not his best. And I am bringing something better. That is also not the best. It means there is room for growth. Something better on the side. And as you stretch your hand this moment, do you believe what I'm saying? Are you sure? The way you look at me is like, this guy, where is he coming from now? Where is he coming from now? He's telling me, oh, it's your mask. That's why I'm seeing you like that. They say that what dances can't dance. You think he's, because he dances off beat. Hey, hey, hey. See it. You would think it's not, but inside he's sweating. So because of the mask, they'll become like tortoise. Please stretch for your hand towards our brother. Anybody who knows our brother, write it down. Mark today, today, today's day, the seventh of July. Write it down. You know we have entered into the third quarter, the third quarter of the year, isn't it? And today is the seventh day. So if you multiply three by seven, you get twenty-one. There is a divine alignment happening for you receive it people of god pray with him 
that anything that can oppose what God is giving to him, let it be removed from the way. There is something coming to him. Lift up your voice. Begin to pray for him. Let it be activated.